Hello everyone. Um, so here we are, uh, second video and just reviewing makeup. Um, so let me just go ahead and get started because I don't want this video to run as long as the last one did. Uh, one of the first thing I want to talk about is um, makeup remover. Uh, I've used a lot of like wipes and stuff and they tend to make my face dried out or greasy um, and so I didn't want to use that anymore because I, I used the Neutrogena wipes, the Urbino wipes um, and I just was like I am not going to have my face drying out every time I go to remove makeup. So I asked my friend, um, Sammy, she's here on YouTube also, um, and she recommended Bioderma, which I haven't tried yet, and cleansing milks. Um, so I looked up some cleansing milks and one of the first ones that popped up is something that we sell right at Target. I work at Target so this was like the easiest option for me. It is the Yes To brand and this is Yes To Cucumbers uh, Gentle Milk Cleanser. Uh, good for sensitive skin and it worked great like didn't have to like rub my face super hard. I just pretty much um, like a like a scrub or like your moisturizer or whatever you just rub it into your face and then rinse it and it worked great um, so definitely um, good for removing makeup <laughs> um, so yeah all right next let me tell you about my makeup I'm currently wearing um, because I reviewed this lipstick last time and so I'm not going to actually review it, but just so you guys know, I am wearing the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. And uh, I went over with the NYX Lip Liner in Plum. Um, the NYX Lip Liner, I am not crazy about. Uh, there's definitely better lip liners. Um, it's disappointing because I really like the NYX brand, but you get what you pay for sometimes. So, uh, yeah. That's not one of my favorites. Um, okay. Next, I will talk about brushes. Um, so the first one, this is my Sephora brushes. Came in this cute little pouch. Um, I have base shadow brushes um, over here. And then I have some smudge brushes over here. And an angled liner brush. Here, let me show you up close. All those guys. My, yes, yeah. So pretty much all of those are fantastic. Uh, the it also came with this Sephora mascara, which I do not like. Actually, let me put this on for you really quick to show you like why I do not like this. Okay, I have no mascara at all at the moment. Like, look at how long this is taking already to even look like it's anything at all. So, yeah. I don't know. It's, ju it's just not, not as good as my other mascaras. So, I gotta even it out. It's just not good at all. Okay, so... That's whatever. Um, and then some other brushes that I got recently, not just stuff that I like. Oh, it's done my hair there. Sorry about this. Okay, trying to go as fast as I can because I do not want this to be a long video. Uh, so I got some Real Techniques brushes. Um, this is the setting brush, and this is the uh, blush brush. Um, the setting brush I use for highlighting, and this one I use for bronzing, blush, um, foundation, whatever. Um, these are super soft brushes. They have been taken out of their packages. Uh, a lot of my stuff is still in its original packaging because I have two makeup bags and they're already full, so I pretty much have to keep everything in like the bags that I bought them in until I get another makeup bag or actually probably a makeup box is what I need. Um, and I just don't want it to get destroyed, so I'm leaving it in its packaging. 
Uh, next, I would like to tell you guys about my eyelash curler that I just got. This is this is Tarte, the um, Picture Perfect eyelash curler, and it came with uh, an extra rubber piece, and it also came with a small sample size of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Hold on, Lights Camera Lashes Four in One Mascara. Um, they both work tremendously well, and the reason that I bought them was because um, all the other eyelash curlers were around eighteen or nineteen dollars at Sephora. This one was twenty two, including the um, mascara. So I was like, well, why don't I just get a mascara along with this awesomeness? So I did, and the mascara I'm losing my train of thought here um, works really good so I'm really excited about that purchase um, oh next thing for more for mascara um, this is what I regularly use and it is the benefits they're real and just traditional black they did just um, release like a whole bunch of colors of the um, their real line and so if you like to do colored mascara or you are even looking just for um, a new mascara that is good benefits is awesome these are about 20 bucks a piece um, but it's always something that I'm willing to spend money on because benefits is an amazing brand and I will buy pretty much anything from them and the other thing from benefits that I use is their ro roller lash um, and you just go over your regular mascara with it um, and it just adds like a little bit extra length to it and this stuff just like I mean you can tell the difference in just like one sweep of the brush it's just like yeah it's it's very dramatic and um, they gave me a couple of sample sizes back when I bought my benefits um, mascara so I I love it I'm just so crazy about it <coughs> Next, uh, while I'm on the subject of eyes, I guess. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I gotta get back to that. Okay. Is the Too Faced Bulletproof Eyeliner. Um, I got this for half off on an Ulta Beauty Steel. I got this one in Purple Rain. And this stuff is wonderfully pigmented. But the smudger on the other end it does not work very well. Um, it's whenever I tried to smudge it, it more just like removed the eyeliner than smudged it. So I'm not about it. But the mascara, no, the eyeliner itself is really good. And that is again Too Faced Bulletproof. <clears throat> um, next, I was actually where did that little thing go? Um, I have a little sample size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I just used this past weekend um, under my Smashbox BB Cream, and this stuff is like really, really nice on my face. It's it doesn't feel like too heavy or like I'm wearing a mask, and I I just I love Smashbox products, so that was just something I was really excited about. Um, it's really good just like to not only give your foundation something to um, stick to but I don't know it's just it's just good it's good stuff just take my dark for it okay just do it um, the next thing I want to talk about is the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray <laughs> everyone in the world loves this stuff, okay? I'm not even exaggerating. Everyone in the universe. Um, this one, anyway, I'm seriously on a serious note. Um, this stuff is so good for, like, making your makeup last because, like, I was at a fall festival, so I really needed this stuff. And just, like, my brows stayed looking good. My um, highlighter stayed bright and beautiful, and my bronzer as well. 
Um, so this is some really fantastic stuff. Um, definitely worth the price. I mean, Urban Decay products, they can be pricey, but definitely worth it. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to talk about real quick is the Urban Decay... Yeah, Urban Decay Naked Flushed um, Palette. This is a bronzing, highlighting, and blush palette. And I have this one in streak. Um, and here it is. As you can see, the, I've been using a whole lot of the highlighter. Uh, it's so, so wonderful. I just cannot even get enough. It's in this cute little, nice, like, real sleek looking compact. Um, the highlighter is especially wonderful for highlighting. Um, I was looking for a good highlighter because I usually just use one of my uh, um, eyeshadows. Um, so when I found that I was pretty excited. Um, my next thing that I would like to try is Too Faced Candlelight or Candlelit. I'm not sure. It's a highlighter anyways. Um, so I'm going to try that next, and also the Becca Cosmetics, uh, highlighter in Champagne Pop. Um, so hopefully I get to try that soon. Um, and the last thing I would like to talk about, I'm talking as fast as I can, and I'm still going over my time. Um, <laughs> I got this on a beauty steal today also. This is the Calvin Klein Brow Pencil in Gel Duo. Um, I was a little bit disappointed. This is actually what I'm wearing right now with, on my brows. I have some really nice brows. Oh, you son of a bitch. You guys just saw that, right? I didn't even do anything. We're just gonna put it back. Anyways, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. So you use this end for uh, defining your brows, filling them in, all that good stuff, and then you use the gel end for grooming and uh, like polishing up and all that stuff. The gel side really, it just makes it worth the while. Like this, the the pencil side is kind of not very pigmented basically, um, so it's kind of hard to like gauge like how dark is this going to be when it comes out. But, um, it's something that I'm just going to have to practice with. I, I don't really hate how my brows look right now, actually. I think, I feel like the gel made it look, look really good. So, um, I'm going to keep using this until it's out, and then I'll see what else I use. But, you know, for mo the most part, I use An Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, anyways, I'm out of breath, and I am done talking today. So... Thanks for watching, if you are watching, and join me next time when I have more stuff. I'm going to be buying some eyeliner soon, more eyeliner soon, so I will at least have that <laughs> to talk about, and I will, of course, add more as I go on. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I do plan on doing more videos. I will hopefully have something of better quality in the future. For now, just bear with me and we are going to talk makeup as often as possible and I hope you like what you hear. Thanks.